Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Animal Crossing New Horizons. Just a quick update this time, um, uh, as I predicted when we checked out the update the other day, uh, works of art have been added to the museum as an option. Uh, Red showed up in my town, I got a painting from him and took it to Blathers and Blathers up, um, upgraded the museum, so I haven't checked out the upgrade yet, so we're going to go have a look and see what it can do now it can hold works of art. It was closed yesterday, which is why I'm holding eight fossils instead of the usual four. Uh, I have two days worth of fossils, so we're going to go head over to the museum. Do, do, do. Uh, so yeah, it was closed yesterday. Now you can see it looks a bit different. Uh, it's got these little uh, banners on the sides now that were not there before. It looks pretty nice. Let's head in and see what happens. Okay, so we've got the usual areas. Yep, we have a new exhibit up here, which I assume is for works of art. It's got a statue there. Let's just head on in and have a quick look. Uh, Blathers might have something to say about it if we talk to him, but first let's just see, let's see what's in here. Okay, I assume these will be paintings. Um, and... I mean sculptures, sorry, probably sculptures. Uh, this is the only one I've got so far. If we have a look, the sinking painting. Uh, it is Ophelia by John Everett Millais, 1852. Ophelia is a tragic figure in the Shakespearean play Hamlet. This is an otherworldly expression. Sorry, there is another worldly expression on her face. She lies unconscious in a river. She's surrounded by the beauty of nature. She floats between life and death. Wow, that's kind of dark. All right, um, can we get a nice close look at it? We zoom the camera in maybe? Uh, not, not easily. It's interesting, I, I would have made it so you can zoom in and have a look at whatever you want. I don't have um, camera control in here. Like I'm wibbling the stick, stick around and it's not doing anything. But yeah, so that's the one painting I have, the sinking painting. Uh, you can see there's room for lots more stuff sculptures and these little st little platforms and stuff like that. Um, more paintings presumably over here. I'm guessing if I look at these it'll just say you have to donate them. Donate to those displays. It looks nice. It looks like an art gallery looks. Um, from what I understand. Uh, I've got this nice marble part here. Uh, I don't know what this part's for. I guess like smaller works of art might go in one of these display cases, but mm, we'll see. Anyway, yeah, so I have one work of art so far. Uh, which I got from Red, and thankfully it wasn't fake. So now we have a work of art uh, section in the museum up here on the second floor. And we're going to talk to Blathers. Hi, Blathers. Hoo hoo, if it isn't Danielle. I am pleased to say the art exhibit is finally finished. Your very own donations made it all possible, Danielle, so to you I am most grateful. The entrance to the gallery is but a jaunt up the stairs. Please, you take a gander at your leisure. Well, I just did. Might there be something with which I can assist you? Assess my fossils, please. Who? What would you like me to assess? I'm all the flutter. Okay, yeah, I've got twice as many fossils because I couldn't give them in yesterday because you were closed. Here you go. Who? More than one, I see. Let us take a closer look, shall we? Who? Hooray! I found something that is not yet part of our esteemed collection. It is magnificent indeed. You have a talent for finding the finest of fossils. Now, I do hope you will consider donating what you found. The cultural development of Cantalot is a worthy endeavour indeed. In the meantime, I shall return these to you. But think on what I've said. The museum awaits. Is there anything else I can help you with? Make a donation. Marvellous. What would you like to donate? Uh, Sabretooth Skull, Left Terror Wing. Okay. Woohoo! Several things I see. Let us take a look, shall we? Splendid. We will gladly take these off your hands. Oh, no need to pull them all out. I'll handle the rest from here. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, let's just have a quick look in the fossil exhibit, because I haven't actually been in there in quite a while, and there's a lot more fossils in here now than there were last time we looked on video, so... Probably some fun stuff to look at. Uh, oh yeah, check this out. Look at all this cool stuff. Whoa, that thing is big. Oh, that's Dunkleosteus. Wow, it's big. <laughs> My goodness, there's still a gap there, but this, this first room is mostly filled up now, as you can see. Uh, let's head into the dinosaur part. 
or the I guess bigger dinosaurs. I'm not sure if anything in the first room counts as a dinosaur or if it's just other ancient creatures. Oh my goodness, look at these things. Wowie. Oh, there's still some pieces missing, but things are looking pretty cool. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, look at that little friend. Can I look at the sign? Over here? Yeah. Demetrodon over there, and that's Jeremiah. Oh, look how little Jeremiah is. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> is there a Compsock Nathus in this game? I um, I did a PowerPoint presentation for school in like kindergarten or something about the Compsock Nathus, so I have a. It's it's a special special dinosaur to me. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And then in this room we've got, oh my goodness, is that a mammoth? It is a mammoth. My goodness. And then we have, that's a saber-toothed tiger? Yes. Oh wow, look at all these cool dinosaurs and things. Oh my goodness. And then back there you have... Yay! Yeah, you're definitely supposed to stand there. You can see a light comes on when you stand in that spot. Adorable. <laughs> Okay, uh, so yeah, that's um, the fossil part of the museum. I'm gonna go and check and see if I can get another painting. I might be able to, uh, because Red's boat is actually here at the secret beach, and I haven't shown that on camera yet anyway, so I'm gonna show it even if I can't actually go into it right now. Um, regardless, this is gonna be a pretty short video, so um, I'll be done in a few minutes. <laughs> uh, yeah, this front room's nearly all filled. It looks really nice. I really love what they've done with the museum in this game. It looks really, really good. Uh, I'll sell those other fossils in a little bit, but first let's just head out and have a look for Red. So as I mentioned, uh, Red's boat shows up on the secret beach. Also the game only calls him Red now. In previous games uh, he had an adjective prior to that, which I'm glad is gone now because it was kind of ableist. Um, it's... How can, I just, how can I put this? It's a word that uh, pushy salesmen often use to describe their deals, but would be something you might want to avoid using as a word because it is kind of ableist. <laughs> anyway, that's Red's boat over there, or whatever it is, Red's craft. Um, I don't know if I'll be allowed to get onto it yet. Let's have a look. As you can see, yeah, docks at the secret beach. You can walk up here. Uh, and try to go in. The ship's kind of sketchy looking. Uh, I shouldn't board without asking. Okay, so I actually do need to find Red and get his permission first. Uh, I haven't seen him today, so I'm not sure he's actually here or if he just left his boat there. Um, let me just have a bit of a look around. I did check most of the area already when I was finding today's fossils, and I didn't spot Red, so I don't know if he's here or not. Hmm. Uh, da, da, da. I kind of get the impression he's not here because I would have seen him while wandering around everywhere to find fossils, but like his boat's here, so I don't know exactly what you're supposed to do to get permission to get onto it. Uh, in previous games, like New Leaf, you had to get a password, and the way you got the password was by talking to just other people. So maybe I'll try that. No, this looks unrelated. Okay, thanks Freckles. It didn't really help, but, you know, that was cute, so that's all that matters. Um, I'll, I'll talk to a few more villagers to see if that helps. I don't really know how you're supposed to get into Red's Craft in this one. Actually, I forget if New Leaf had the password or if that was Wild World. There was definitely one where you had to get a password by talking to other people and then you get you get a membership so that Red would actually send you the passwords each time. Oops. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, that might have been Wild World. 
Uh, he can, he, he is as far as I know the only way to get artworks in the game, and when uh, the art exhibit opened, Isabel did mention that there is fake art around, so he does still make forged art like he did in previous games, or try to sell it to you. Um, so that is something to watch out for. I believe it works the same way as in New Leaf, where you can carefully examine the artwork and figure out if it's real or not. In games before that, I think it's basically you buy it and then what Red says afterwards gives you a hint. Like, well, I mean, he makes it obvious. Basically, he says, haha, you bought a fake piece of art or whatever. And because you know that, you can go and sell it instead of um, trying to donate it to the museum and getting it discovered as a fake. So you can participate in art fraud. It's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, in New Leaf, uh, you could see all the works of art inside his tent, and you could just move the camera around and have a good look at them and figure out if they were real or not, because they're based on real life works of art, and so if they're the same as the real life work of art, then it's fine and you can have it, um, that, then it's real and you can, you know, put it up on your wall and whatever, because it's the real one, but if it's got a difference from the real work of art, which is usually pretty obvious, uh, just looking at it, uh, things like... Uh, there's one called there's one called a scary painting, which has like a a guy with his uh, hands like splayed out or whatever, um, and in the forgery he's doing finger guns, which is pretty funny. I don't know what all the forgeries are, but they're mostly pretty obvious. Um, although I usually do look up there's a like a wiki article called Forgery Guide. Um, for New Leaf. I don't know if there is one for New Horizons yet, probably not, because it's just happened, but... Um, yeah, I don't think Red is actually here. Which is interesting. Um... Because, yeah, I ran around everywhere looking for fossils this morning. And I found them. Didn't find that, though. Hang on, get in my pockets. I think I might have grabbed a different recipe earlier. I don't know. And I didn't see red anywhere, so... Hmm... Oh no, there you are! Hi, red! <laughs> I was about to give up, so that's good timing. I'd know that shining face anywhere. How you been, Daniel? You made the right choice buying that art from me earlier. I've had a lot of folks asking about it. Uh, you know, I really gotta be honest. I think I'm falling for Candlelight. I mean, you got quite a setup going here. And a lot of art fans. So Candlelot wants art, and I got art to sell. Might be something to this. But I couldn't sell to just anybody. I need someone I could trust. Completely. As if they were family. And since we're basically cousins, because I know you've got an eye for quality, I want it to be you. Wanna look at a few things? I've got both art and furniture. Plus you get my cousin's discount. You in? I'm in. I know you can, and you cousins is absolutely the right choice. I've got my boat anchored off the northern shore, and I'm almost done fixing all the leaks. Long story. Come have a look at what I'm selling. You won't regret it. Oh, did it warp me there? No, he just disappeared. Presumably to go to his boat. Okay, so now I have permission to go to Red's boat, so let's head over there. I'm thinking of adding another incline to this cliff, by the way, just because you can't quite reach this spot uh, without using a ladder. Like, you can't go from here to up there without using a ladder or going all the way around. Normally I just use a ladder. Do, 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 do. Okay, we have permission to go to his boat now, so let's head on in and see what's inside. His boat of horrors. <laughs> Looks very small inside. <laughs> oh, it's a bit dark in here. Ah, Danielle, I'm so glad you made it. So here's the pitch. Ready? At Jolly Red's treasure trawler, we sell only the finest. There's nothing finer than fine art and rare furniture, am I right? Of course, I can't let all these fine things just walk out the door. I gotta limit you to one piece of art per day. It's a hassle, I know, but I hope the cousin's discount will make up for it. Plus, I'll let you buy all the furniture you want, no questions asked. So take a look around. We've got masterpieces by the great masters, plus stuff for your master bedroom. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay, so, yeah, as you can see, these are real works of art. Uh that we can carefully examine and try to figure out if they are legit. Uh, we can't go into that locked door over there. Uh, there's a writing desk. I assume it's really expensive. That's pretty pricey, yeah. Um, padlocked door over there. That's where it keeps all the secrets. 
Okay, so we can only buy one piece of art. There should be at least one that is real. There might be more, but I believe there will usually be one. Um, in New Leaf, you I believe you are guaranteed to have one that's real and possibly more. Uh, let me just whip up the New Leaf Forgery Guide. Because theoretically it should be roughly the same, because these are the same real paintings. Uh, yeah, Jolly Road Treasure Trawler. Okay, they've already updated the forgery guide here with information about the new game, so that's really helpful. Uh, this one is the amazing painting, The Night Watch, just by Rembrandt. Uh, if the man in white is on the left... The man in the middle doesn't have a black hat. Okay, they've actually changed the fake rules. Uh, the man in the middle doesn't have a black hat. Um, oh, I can get a closer look. Hang on. Let me have a quick look. Okay, so you just have to move the camera around in New Leaf, uh, but it looks like you can actually go like this to examine the painting in this game. Okay, yeah, so they've changed out the fakeness between games. Uh, in New Leaf, the man in white would be on the other side if it were fake. In this one, you can tell it's fake because that guy in the middle is not wearing a hat. Uh, if you look at the real version of the painting, he should have a black hat on. So that painting is fake. Uh, so let's look at some of the other paintings. Hopefully one of them is real. Good thing the guide is already updated, otherwise I wouldn't know what I was doing. <laughs> uh, what's this? Quaint painting? I mean, you couldn't buy that kind of aura. Well, you could, and should. Let me help you out. My cousin's discount. Yeah, blah blah blah. I want a closer look. Okay, so we've got a woman pouring some water, or a person pouring some water. I can't remember what this painting is called, Quaint. Uh, I believe this is sorted alphabetically, so... Quaint, quaint, quaint. There it is. Okay. Uh, okay, that made it actually, actually harder, I think. In the original, in the New Leaf version, uh, that woman wouldn't wear a hat in New Leaf, and that would make it fake. Uh, the reason it's fake in this game, it is fake, by the way, the reason it's fake is because the stream of milk coming out of the jug is too wide. It should just be like a little line in the middle. So that's fake as well. Uh, hopefully one of these are real. So yeah, if you know your art, this is pretty easy, but I don't know my art very well, so I do have to look up some of this stuff. Uh, cantaloupe discount is down to the same price. <laughs> okay, um, I should, probably should have listened when he said what painting it was. It's not Starry Night, obviously. It might be the, it might be, hmm. Hang on, let me just go back and check what the name was. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Perfect painting. Perfect painting. This painting is always genuine in both games, so there isn't a fake version of that one. Okay, um, but let's have a quick look at this one as well. The game will let me. I might stand in front of it. There we go. The Jolly painting. My favourite piece in here. <laughs> They're all the same price. <laughs> uh, let me see. I think this one is real as well, actually. Oh, no, it's fake. They, they changed it. Um, in the previous game, uh, the way that made it fake is if the nose was a carrot instead of a green vegetable, it was fake. Uh, in this one, there should be an artichoke poking out of the chest area. You can see how there's just nothing down there. Yeah, there should be an artichoke. So that one's fake. Uh, the only real one is the uh, perfect painting, so we're going to buy that one. Thanks, Red. So yeah, you can see he's... he's, he's um, Shop is called Jolly Reds now, which I think is a massive improvement over the previous adjective I hinted towards. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, yeah, you, you can't take it immediately. You have to wait till tomorrow when he actually sends it out. I forgot about that. Um, but yeah, we can put that into the museum tomorrow. So, cool. Uh, let's see. Angled signpost? I already know that one. Eh, I'll just give that to someone else, I guess. Okay, um, what's this? A pet food bowl. Mm, no thank you. 
uh, red only sold art in the previous game, so having other stuff is interesting. I love seeing a customer's eyes light up when they see something they want, makes it all worth it. Don't get me wrong, the bells are pretty nice too. Okay, so yeah, we can buy one piece of art, we've done it. Uh, it'll get shipped to us tomorrow in the mailbox, and then we can actually take it to the museum. You gotta wait another day, which is a bit obnoxious. Uh, true patron of the arts for buying, yep, yeah, for buying art from a shady seller, yep. <laughs> Thanks, Red. You won't regret it. Cool. Um, even if we could buy one more piece of art today, we don't want to because they're all fake. <laughs> So yeah, um, that's how adding art to the museum works. You wait for Red's boat here to appear, you go inside, you look at the art, you try to find out which ones are real. I believe there's always going to be one real one, but that might not be true of this game. It was definitely true of New Leaf. Uh, and there could be more than one real one if you were lucky, but it didn't always happen. But yeah, one, one was guaranteed. Uh, in this game, I don't know. Hopefully it's still guaranteed, but I have no way of knowing that yet. Uh, so that's about it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the um, high stakes world of, of purchasing valuable art from uh, Jolly Red's treasure trawler and hopefully putting it into the museum over here, which now has room for it. I wonder where they added that on. Like the, the outside shape of the museum is the same. Was there like a whole uh, like, great big unused wing that they've now made into the art wing that we just couldn't get to, like there was no door, or... Hmm. It's interesting how you can add so much more room to these places without making them any ex externally any bigger. It's also true of my house here, which has all the upgrades and stuff, like, it's got all these extra rooms and it looks pretty much the same basic size as it did at the beginning of the game. So, hmm. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Um, next time I'll hopefully remember to show you the new painting in the museum because I'll be able to put it in the museum because it is a real painting. Uh, so look forward to that, and thanks for watching. Bye!